what's happening this is JT back with another episode and you know the brisk chill is in the air the fall feeling is here it's time to bust out those light jackets the hoodie swag maybe some beanies if you could pull it off with a little whoop de wop hair swoop underneath it If you could pull it off, by all means, it's time for winter swag, or fall swag. And luckily in Southern Las Vegas, it's light jackets at the most. Light at the most. So, it's pretty nice right now outside. We just got a new tree at the house, this palm tree, this like little palm tree, this big palm tree. When you get a new plant in the house, that may as well be a new person or something. That's a living being that's bigger than you. You're like, dang, look at that being. It's moving. It's big. And they're alive. So it's super cool and energetic to get a new plant in the house. So do that to yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself sometimes. That's why I have the hair in the palm tree today because we have a palm tree that we just birthed. And it's beautiful. But yeah, and um, another thing I had on my mind um, you know, people that just like I, I, I get community and I get I get community and I get like relationships. <laughs> And I go into frequenting places, but it annoys me because I I, at the retail shop I work annoys me. Like like frequent people are cool, but after a while you run out of shit to say to people. Even if you see them every day, you're just like, all you can do is really be nice. But like for some people, they want more. You're just like, dude, we've been through this a bunch. I can't do more for you, really. Like. You still gotta pay for what you're getting, bro. And, and just be cordial and nice. But like sometimes there's just a couple people that always want to take it too far. And you're just like, it's not my turn no more, bro. It's time to pass you on to the next gen, second generation of workers because I don't put my time in with your way. With your way. But, and that's about it. I, I, uh, they gave the two autistic kids, the two autistic Hall of Famers, Eli and Peyton Manning, they gave those two guys a spotlight on Monday Night Football. I was like, oh yeah, give the retarded monkeys a fucking, the retarded CTE driven autistic boys a spotlight to see them fucking... <laughs> through some com- through some shit they might have like like they're so awkward and so autistic like it's funny but I guess that's in now you know who brought that that, that comedy that was Will Ferrell and you know what I can't blame it I'm hating right now but I do love that kind of shit I do like it that goofy like autistic kind of like Oopsie, like you know, Will Ferrell type shit, just being hilarious. Jim Carrey, Will Ferrell, those are the boys. Even Adam Sandler does it in a lot of his movies, just like really going, getting, really acting it out. And but nothing's new out out here in Vegas. Out here in Vegas. Um, you know, just same old shit, man. Not same old, but we out here growing, we out here living. We're gonna take a tour of, um, we're gonna take a tour of the haunted mansion. So there's gonna be a nice little vlog of that coming. Everyone's been there, but I'm trying to go get haunted real quick. I'm trying to get bring something home with me. I could. Something good. 
But yo, this is for all the palm trees out there. Go get one. Hook yourself up. Treat yourself. Be the best decision you ever made in your entire life. It's a living being in your house that's breathing air or, you know, eating air, releasing carbon dioxide, you know, or eating carbon dioxide, releasing air. I'm a scientist. I know. All right. So for all you crystal warriors, granola girls, granola guys, and Subaru savages, one time for the one time. Get yourself a palm tree. We done, son.